guys, Ian Rob versus Regan Redzolf, Chiampao versus Lostina, final round, let's check this out, Swiss round 13, one of the first games in the Knoxville Day 2 Regionals, let's see this guys, it's going to be an amazing game, we just saw Ian Rob steal that fight last game, coming back from Regan being at two prizes, just Regan after the rocks and could not come back, let's see if Ian wants to try that strategy again, is Ian going to try to come fay? Try to get himself ahead, or is he just going to take this slow? I'm very interested. The guy is a genius, I'm not going to lie. The guy knows what he's doing on another level. So, looks like our board is full here for the Regan. As you guys can see, this time he's going for the tuba barrels. <laughs> he's not going to let Ian lock him out. That's the amazing thing about the human species. We learn from our mistakes. <laughs> That's amazing. Last turn, Ian actually just KO'd the barrel and Roxanne path and just Reagan was locked out of the game. So smart move here for Reagan to keep that two barrels down. Especially when Ian plays like that genius level. Evil genius, <laughs> may I add. Let's see what uh, Ian wants to do. He could Comfe here. Last time we saw him, Tina. There's a the Comfe. Uh, he is going second, so there is a possibility for him to get to four. If he gets another Comfe down, he could get a hit here on the Chianpao. I don't know if he wants to do that. We shall see. With a Comfe and a Colorless, he needs one more Comfe. He gets to four. Let's see what Ian's strategy... It's been uh, kind of a theme where he doesn't really do any kind of early aggression. There he is, looking for the Colorless. Doesn't really do any early aggression. He doesn't even care about filling up his loss zone that heavy. Like last a couple of games ago, he didn't even use any confes. So let's see what he wants to decide to do. I don't think maybe he'll go to three loss zone. We'll see. There's a call rest. Let's see what he finds in here. It's kind of not a huge priority. It's a little bit early in the game. There's a counter catcher though. We don't want to lose that, I think. Is that a Contra Catcher or a Pokemon Catcher? Why would you run a Pokemon Catcher? No, that's Contra Catcher 100%. So he tosses away the Contra Catcher. No, no, no. He keeps the Contra Catcher in his hand knowing that Reagan gets ahead really quickly. I think Ian is going to be weary of playing any two prizers down. Or maybe if he is playing two prizers down, it's bait. But now that he sees the Barrel, maybe he's like, damn, I cannot bait him anymore. Okay, there, so there is the Tina. Do you play one Tino or two Tino? So he doesn't come for, he just goes for the best seeking. This is the way he's going to fill up his last zone. It does give him extra cards, it makes sense, but he does get two prizes back or behind. Uh, Regan's been amazing with these Pokestops, drawing them out exactly when he needs them, except if he gets Roxanne, of course. There we are, Champao immediately activates, getting those two cards. Bibarel's already on board. We need an Irida here so we can get the back Scalibur. Also, we're eyeing out the earthen vessel so we can get those uh, energies into the graveyard. Regan needs an Irida. And also, I guess he wants to... Does he have the rare candy in hand? Is that why he's eyeing the earthen vessel? No, I don't see a rare candy. So he's going to have to... Does he even have Irida? Okay, there's the rare candy. There's the nest ball. I don't think he has Irida. He doesn't have any way to get into Backscalibur. What did he just draw? Another Pokestop? Oh, Irida? No, he did have Irida. He did have Irida. So we do have the back Excalibur here. We're going to pick up an Earthen Vessel as well. Yep. And we're going to get this uh, energy into the board, into the discard pile. This is great. This is a great turn for Regan. Regan did a lot of work here. Moved ahead, really forward. Got the board exactly in the state where he wants it. Now, one good thing he could do here is get another B Barrel down. Just in case if the Tina or the Cramorant starts targeting that Bebarrel. We get the first KO. Oh, Reagan's so fast with this deck, guys. Very consistent, very fast. He gets get two turn KOs so quickly, so quickly, no matter what. He just needs one turn to set up and the second turn is consistently killing. Consistently. And he's playing really fast, so he knows what this deck does. Like He's really smart about it. There we are, second Colorus, or is this, yeah, second Colorus. Bunch of energies is what I'm seeing there. 
Not a lot of great choices here. Dude, is that a Roxanne in Ian's hand? So Ian is going to try to disrupt Reagan again. Is this going to work, though? We just need a bit barrel next turn. We should be fine, right? We just play one more bit barrel. Reagan's, Reagan's missing two pieces. One more Xi'an Pan, one more Bebera. That's really it. And he cannot be shot away from this, like, kicked out of this game. Man, Xi'an Pan is just such a fast deck. And Ian is giving him those two K two prize KOs for free, like... Could have left with Comfy on there. Or a Cramorant. We know that Regan needs to Irida, so why are we giving him two prizes? He cannot... He cannot get your Tina. Like, he'll never touch the Tina. I don't get it. I think Ian's, like, baiting him to get the two prizes. It's such insane level of play. I cannot even understand, guys. There it is. Battle VIP is tossed out. Another chorus in hand. Ian's going to have the second turn. Last. Ne one more turn. No, no. He's already at seven. Can, is he going to try to get the KO? I don't think he is. I think he's going to wait a little bit. Unless he wants to get the KO on the Bebero. Okay, Cramorant's moving forward. Are we going to counter-catch? I know he has counter-catcher in hand. Is he going to counter-catcher the Bidoof? But he knows that Regan has a superior rod, right? Or super rod. So he knows that Bidoof can come right back. Oh, damn. He just hits the Chien Pao. Very interesting. I like how the, like, there's dice everywhere. <laughs> there's just dice everywhere around the table. But the dice that really matters is the dice on the Pokemon. That's right. The only, that's the real dice. All the other dice, just extra stuff. Ian is... Uh, been shut down here. That's crazy. I think the b two bit barrel actually destroy his plan. Completely. Because Chienpao doesn't even need to look for his... Uh, energies anymore he just needs superior retrievals and you can do that with the barrel that's amazing reagan's already at three prizes ian is kind of thinking here i mean he, he has options ian has options but the problem is there's two bit barrels but he does have the roxanne in hand so Reagan is at three, guys. He's at three. So he could get Roxanne. He's not at four. It's not four. It's three. Yeah, there it is. They fixed it. So Mirage Gate's coming for the Radiant Greninja. Huh? Interesting. Only one energy in deck. Yeah, yeah he, I think he pulled that too. I think he pulled that too. Never mind. I guess he can get... A frigid and okay, this is one turn behind because he could have got the Bidoof in the frigid. Nice, nice pokey uh, stop. What's the plan here? We're gonna super rod in some ener energies. Oh, wow. So he actually missed the energies, I think. Now he's fixing that. That's crazy. Well, he needed two, Mir two Mirage Gate anyways. He needed two Mirage Gate. He just uses the first Mirage Gate so he can look into his deck. Second Mirage Gate so he can see. Now my question is, Radiant Greninja enough here? He doesn't get any KOs. Yeah, Ian Rob just passed his turn. And says, I cannot do anything. I'm in a position where you got me. The Tuba Barrel wins game. Damn, Tina's just playing from behind when it's against Xi'an Pao. That's insane. Reagan cannot believe he just won against the world champion at 16. <laughs> this is insane, guys. I'm so surprised by this matchup. Xi'an Pao is just so strong against the lost Tina. Oh, the guy wants to go to the bathroom. <laughs> he needs to run to the restroom. He doesn't even care if he lost the game. <laughs> He's like, I need to go. I need to head there. Hit, hit the bathroom, guys. Reagan is on his way to become the champion of this tournament, guys. This is amazing.